as part of this project is getting really hot which reminded me that we need to get their air conditioning running and to be able to do that on 112k solar we need to add a micro air easy start module to this goodman three ton condensing unit so tony who is licensed in hvac as well as augers under the sidewalk is uh hooking this up basically have four wires he pulled it up there's a whole there's just a short procedure you pull the qr code first uh residential commercial then you find this model and it tells you the why it shows you the wire diagram so we're just going to do an amperage inrush test before we hook up the easy start so let's go ahead and give it the juice i'm just going to hook it back up so as we have entered into summer season here, um, this is this is kind of in lieu of having to add two inverters. So if this works, this is supposed to reduce the LRA locking rotor ramps by 75%. So we're just getting a, a reading before we hook this up, and then we'll get one after, hopefully. But we don't know what kind of thermostat they have. We might be fooling ourselves, but I'm going to try to capture it nonetheless. Oh baby, 111.5. Wow. You heard that. Bam. Run time or run amps RLA. RLA is 13 and a half amps. So no problem running this, but starting it, that's a different story. So now we're going to wire it up. And Tony's found, well, we went and looked at the wiring diagram that is on the inside cover of the unit and so we can trace out where we're heading so we're going to t t2 with a white wire we're going to t1 with a black wire orange goes to hermetic oh uh, yeah right there and then brown to the compressor run run terminal all right, compressor, let's see. We we're at 111. What is the microwave going to do today? And there's supposed to be some indicators on that thing, too. Can't really see them at that angle. No, we'll look at that later. 34. From 111. 34 from 111. There it is. And it started up good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not, that's good that's sound. That's good sound. Yeah. yeah. I didn't hear anything weird, so. Cool. All right. Well, Tony is a licensed HVAC technician, as well as many other things. So I'm glad he was here. We hooked this up. This is the first time I've been putting this together. So what do you think? I like it. <laughs> he's going to put one on his house. He just, it's, he's got it mounted. Already mounted. But it's he hasn't hooked it up. I haven't it in yet. So that's our first test. That is awesome. All right, well, let's uh, button it up and we can start this three ton heat pump now with a single 12K inverter. All right, folks, this is proof. We have no grid support, yellow there. We are running a three ton air conditioner that we added the micro air easy start to it. Started without any problems. We could never start that. The locking rotor amps were like 112 before this, so. Yes, you can have air conditioning off of a single inverter and a decent size of ray. And you can have air conditioning. And you can have heating too. So that changes everything for me because there's a lot of there's a lot of people that really don't care whether they <laughs> have solar or not. They want they want a hot shower and they want to stay cool or warm if the power goes out. And that micro air does it, doesn't it, Willis? Oh, it works. It works awesome. I cannot believe I didn't see any light flicker. I just it went outside and the unit was running. It's a new era. Yeah. So that is really cool. I'm super psyched about it. Um, yes, you can upgrade your HVAC to a high dollar inverter, compressor, three stage, blah, blah, blah. Talk, talk to your HVAC person about how much that's going to cost but a lot of people just don't pay attention to their HVAC and some of the units are very old and I'm um, just walking over to where it is where it's running 
So we are cooling this house. You can kind of hear it. I can almost think I could get away with running two of these. I don't know. I'm going to do a test. Another test. So this Goodman 3 ton that has quite the list to it is doing great on the micro air. So it started, the easy start started it no problem on a Solar 12K with uh, three arc batteries. I guess it's a good so solar day. But uh, I should have tried to start it just on the batteries. All right, we're just wrapping up here, just past our final inspection, which will be handed off to Duke Power, power release, so we can do get at this thing interconnected and zero their bill. But I hope this was helpful. Um, you can have HVAC. That's a three ton unit. An old unit we're running started no problem using the micro air so that's a that's a big deal for me and a big deal for a lot of people considering solar a lot of people aren't going to do it unless they're comfortable unless they have climate control with their existing stuff and they don't want to swap it out and spend another 15,000 on an HVAC system so it's doable folks it's awesome this is engineer 775 signing out